What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative, where today I'm going to get nerdy over something other than books for a change. You heard right. Not book related, but book adjacent if you apply the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. I'll explain more on that in just a moment. If you've noticed a few of the shorts that have appeared on the channel over the last few weeks, then you're aware I have recently delved into the world of fountain pens. My husband has been after me for months to try one of his pens, and I finally did. I practiced with it for a month, and then I made my very first purchase of my own pen. Well, that pen led to another pen, led to another pen, and I even have a new pen currently en route to me right now. The most appealing thing about fountain pens is the ink. You you can change your ink anytime you like. There are so many different types and colors that it just adds to the enjoyment of owning a fountain pen. And what I'm going to do here today on the channel is an unboxing and demonstration of some new ink that I got from Ferris Wheel Press. I recently joined their ambassador program. I am now an affiliate, which means any of you that shops at Ferris Wheel Press, if you use the code NERDY at checkout, you're going to get 10% off your purchase. I will of course have the link to Ferris Wheel Press's gorgeous website down in the description below for you all to visit. Ferris Wheel Press is more than just ink. They have paper products, other accessories, and of course fountain pens. All of which 10% off with code NERDY. Now what do you say we pop this box open and take a look at the inks inside? This is gorgeous packaging. I love the watch faces with the foil. What a beautiful box. This would make a gorgeous gift for anyone that you might know who loves fountain pens. This color is called Oyster Hour. So the back says Ferris Wheel Press fountain pen inks are water-based, evenly toned, rich, and saturated. Compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens used for your next stroke of genius. And then down here at the bottom, it says fall in love with writing again. Well, let's do that by taking a look at this first color here. Wow, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that bottle. Can you see that beautiful color in there? Oh, it's a shimmer. I love shimmers. And we have 38 milliliters here of Oyster Hour to test out here in just a moment. Let's take a look at these others. The next color I've picked up here is called Steeped Umber. Oh my goodness, we have different types of teapots on this one. Wow, they really pay attention to detail. I didn't realize each box was going to have its own unique design on it. That just makes these collectibles, in my opinion, as well as the bottles. I'm just thinking of all the ways I can reuse these bottles after I finish with the ink. Let's take a look. So this one's a very dark, dark, bronzy-ish color. Wow, you can kind of see a little bit of that in the reflection there. This is gorgeous. These are just the perfect colors for fall. And if you know anything at all about me, I am big time into decorating for the different seasons. So now I will be decorating my pens for the seasons by using the different colored inks. The next color here is Spruce County Post. And let's take a look at this box. It looks like we have here some vintage looking postage stamps, which I used to collect stamps when I was younger. I am so excited for this color. Let's see, the camera is, it's, this one is so dark, the camera's having trouble, but you can see a little bit of that shimmery emerald green. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then the last one, now this one is the one that my husband is most excited for. It is the newest color from Ferris Wheel Press's Fairy Tales collection. Yes, that is a play on the name and spelling of Ferris Wheel Press, which is just absolutely genius. We have a cute little rabbit. Let's see what it says here. What a curious feeling. Open the cabinet and peek into the apothecary of mystery. Here, drinks will shrink you and brews can turn you blue. But the true magic lies in the reveries you will find bubbling within every bottle. This is just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. My husband has been drooling over the fairy tales collection for quite some time. <gasps> it's such a cute little drink me bottle. Ooh. Look at that color. 
Oh gosh, y'all. I didn't even tell y'all what color we got here. We have the blueberry tonic. I'm gonna have to do something about the lighting. It's just reflecting off of everything. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to try these colors. Okay. It's time to get some paper and test this out. Just make sure any shimmer or glitter that may be in these gets moved around and distributed so we get a really good sample. So this color is the Spruce County Post. The ink tone is Spruce Tree Green. The characteristics are calming, deep, earthy, and cool. So let's see what we think, you all. <gasps> Just seeing the color there on the cap is just has me really excited oh my goodness wow that is absolutely gorgeous zoom in on that a little bit there so you can take a look now this is while it is wet we'll take another look at it once it is dry so you can have an idea of what it's going to look like but I am in love with this color. The next color that I'm gonna try here is the Steeped Umber. The ink tone for this one is Cognac Brown Leather and the characteristics are warm, spicy, and rich. Just what you want to feel like on a cold fall afternoon. Yep, I'm going to have ink all over my fingers by the time this is done. For those of you who are fountain pen users, you know how that is. Okay, let's zoom in here. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. If any of you are artists, this would be a great color for your reindeer. <laughs> now we're gonna try Oyster Hour. This one, I am the most curious to see what it's gonna look like because it's really hard to find a good light color, like yellowy gold color. At least I haven't found one that I liked yet. So the ink tones for this one would be latte or creamy oyster brown. And the characteristics for it are creamy, tan, warming, shaded, and subdued. I am so curious about this one. Let's see. Gosh. Yep. I'm going to be. <laughs> I've done pretty well so far. Okay. Let's see. All right. I am very intrigued by this color. Zooming in here. Yeah, that is really subdued. This makes me want to do art. I'm just thinking of how beautiful foliage would be using this color on an autumn themed drawing piece of art. Wow, that is such a beautiful camel color. I love that. I did save the down the hole blue barrel tonic for last because I am so excited for this color. The ink tone is periwinkle blue, purple duo shade, and a rose gold shimmer. I am very interested to see how that's gonna work together. The characteristics are high shading and euphoric. Man, that just makes me want to write with this one right now. So funny story, I had to go get my husband to get this open for me. And while I did that, I also grabbed another light to try and help show these colors off. So let's see. Oh, yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. Zoom it in here. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful color. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I love that periwinkle color. 
Wow. So again, here we have this Spruce County Post. And then here is the Steeped Umber. We have Oyster Hour and the Down the Rabbit Hole Latest Color Blue Barrel Tonic. All four of these colors are the newest colors that are out and available for you all to purchase on the Ferris Wheel Press website. Again, I will have that linked below. Don't forget to use code NERDY to get 10% off your order. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me nerd out on something other than books for a change. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.